Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new video, a new rapid application node in which we will cover how you can create a temporized on a timer on Indosoft Web Studio. So first let's take a look to a temporized uh, uh, timer, uh, temporized on timer, on timer. So this is from the Siemens uh, support portal. Uh, basically a timer, a tone timer uh, has uh, two inputs and two outputs. One is the enable uh, input, uh, the present time, the uh, output uh, when, when the present time is uh, rich and the elapsed time, two inputs, two outputs. So basically that's what we need on Indosoft to make this work. So what we will do is uh, we will create a new project as always. We will start from the scratch. So let's call it a uh, ton demo. Uh, let's okay. Um, okay, that's fine. We want to be using the uh, viewer module. So that's uh, irrelevant. We won't be using also the, the security system so we can disable it. Uh, okay, so what we need now uh, first is a set of tags. Uh, we need a clock tag, which is basic for uh, all the operations that are time-based. We need a clock to make everything work. Uh, after that, we can put the input, which is in, and uh, preset time, Q, and elapsed time. So, uh, in is an, a boolean tag and, and the output Q is also Q is a boolean tag. Uh, clock tag is also boolean. So, okay, we are done with the tax assignment for now. So the next step is going to the scheduler and create the scheduler worksheet. On the scheduler worksheet, the first thing that we need to create is a clock. So let's put a clock happened here and this clock will be changing each second. So the clock tag will receive the value of the toggle of a clock tag. So the value will be changing from one to zero, from one to zero every time. And uh, after having the clock tag, we can use it to evaluate its, its changes. So every time that clock tag changes, what we can do here, for instance, is evaluate, uh, do a comparison. A comparison. So uh, we can do an if, if the, the elapsed of time is less than the present time, uh, then uh, we can increase the value of elapsed of time by one, and that's it. So that should be written into a lapse of time. And we want this running uh, only while uh, enable tag is uh, set uh, to, um, uh, to, to one. So every time that the enable is zero, it will be disabled. Okay, I believe we didn't create enable. I believe we did. Oh, sorry, it's in. But in the example is, yes, it's in also. So in, in it's uh, well the the input for the tone for the temporized temporized tone timer. Uh, every time that it it is zero, it will be disabled. Uh, the next thing that we need is uh, we can use here the change for the evaluating the change for the clock tag. For the lapse of time, and we will we'll, we'll be writing zero into this tag every time that the uh, enabler or the input uh, or old or timer is set to one, is set to, to sorry, is set to uh, zero. So, um, so it will be disabled when this is one. And this will be enabled when this is zero. So it will be running when in is one, and this will be enabled uh, when in is zero. So uh, kind of a, a 
the reverse inverse uh, operation for the disabled column. So the next thing that we need to do is here change, you change for the log tag is right into the queue, into the output. So a new if, if uh, e elapse of time is equal to present time, and then a q will be one. And this will be again enabled or disabled when in is equal to zero. We need a new line change for the clock tag. And for the queue also, it will be zero every time, or every, this, this operation will be disabled every time the input is equal, equal to one and will be right, uh, working when input is equal to zero. So that's it. With this, we have created a temporized uh, uh, timer, a temporized, temporized on timer. So let's uh, disable the big word because we don't want the big word to use the whole screen. And we will use the watch window to monitor everything. So let's put here the clock tag, the elapse of time, uh, the present time, the input and the output. So let's start. Start in the runtime. The clock tag is changing, changing, changing. Um, I can set something to the present time, for instance, five seconds. So after uh, setting to one, the enable tag, it will start counting here for a lapse of time. And when it reaches five, it reaches the present time, it will put the, the output to one. So when we disable this, I get the, the output is, it goes to zero and the lapse of time go back to zero also. So we can put maybe other preset here and the same, uh, the same uh, we can enable the input and we'll, it will start counting until it reaches the preset time and puts the output to one. So basically what, what we have created here is a timer like in a PLC, a tone timer. Uh, some people use this to create uh, time, time by base operations. So something comes from the PLC uh, and uh, puts the input to one and you want to do something five seconds later, 10 seconds later, etc. cetera, but, but uh, by a controlled time. And you can use this to, to do that. Um, the, the kind of uh, accuracy for this timer is, um, plus le uh, minus uh, less than a second, maximum one second. And uh, if you want an accuracy of 100 milliseconds or less, uh, what I recommend is instead of using a clock uh, changing each second, you might want to use a clock changing each 100 milliseconds. You might want to um, uh, change a couple other things here on the code, but at the end you will have a more accurate timer. But for general purpose uh, applications, um, this should be enough. Uh, well, that's it for this video. If you have any question, any comment, please leave that uh, below in this comment section. Thank you for watching.